Uh, we can't be sweet, says First, Sour Patch. Sour. Oh, we must be sour. What? Then there's is sweet. This commercial. Oh, because they have to help out building. Sour, sweet. This, I know this is not real, but it seems so real. I'm kind of freaking out. Sour Patch Kinder. At first, they're sour, or in other words, they're no no Sour Patch. And then, as soon as the blue dudes arrive, um, it's now time to build NASA, I mean, other uh, space aircraft. Now, when do some of the red dudes move to Argentina? Mesopotamians in the year 3001 BC. Ah, uh, yes, before they had discovered the wheel. You know, say what you will about these bicycles, but hey, they were still efficient. Life still ran pretty well without the wheel. Everyone gives that shape just way too much credit. Who could have guessed Mesopotamians actually came up with the first Minecraft bike? Me learning German. Meanwhile, Germans making wo equal where and were equal who. Sometimes I feel like all languages just do everything in their power to make it the most difficult thing to learn. Same could be said for English, since if you start off learning German, then this is the exact opposite for you as well. Germans, the second they hear someone speaking German in a public area outside of Germany. Wait, there are others like us? I guarantee you this is exactly how it goes for most languages out there. Imagine the country of Hungary, for instance, that only has 10 million people living in it. Now imagine you're originally from this place, but moved halfway across the world. If you actually heard someone speaking Hungarian in like a state like Ohio, you would absolutely have your mind blown. There'd be no greater twist you could ever encounter. I guess what makes this funnier than that, though, is Hungary is a small place, Germany not so much. So it shouldn't be that uncommon to find another German speaker outside of Germany. The American government, after hearing the country they just dropped two nukes on, is anti-communist. Did we just become best friends? Yep. That's all the US has to hear. Like, hey, sorry we just had to drop two sons on you, but uh, would you like to be besties? Don't say you love the anime if you haven't read the manga yet. This was literally the first thing I thought of when I'd heard the news of ChatGPT. I was like, oh, it's like Cleverbot? Me and Cleverbot were literally like best friends 10 years ago. Wow, he even remembers. Independent content creator Here's a small high quality show on YouTube that my small team and I made thanks to some donations. Meanwhile, multi billion dollar film industries, why does everyone hate our poorly adapted remake slash boot of a beloved franchise? It costs 500 million dollars. This is actually an argument that I've been making for like a while now. I feel like every day I stumble upon like the most high quality YouTube videos that I've never found before. Meanwhile, I can't stand most movies anymore, although I do want to see Mario. Me in Japan when I take a photo with my iPhone of an alien, but the alien gets scared away even though I lower the volume of everything to zero. And this is apparently because Japanese iPhones, if you bought the iPhone in Japan, always make noise when you take a picture. It's known as a mandatory shutter sound, and this is also the same thing for South Korea as well. Japan has a problem with taking pictures of individuals without their permission. It's probably safe to say all sorts of creatures are just chilling in Japan. For instance, if Bigfoot hears a shutter sound, he could just eat the person that took the picture. Japan doesn't have problems like the West, MFers, when you ask them why there's cars specifically for women on Japanese. Japanese railways. You know, the, it's a little bit of an awkward conver thing I sh <laughs> Sorry, conversation. Excuse me for one second. <laughs> I have to leave. This also has a connection to why there's a mandatory shutter sound effect. But hey, at least they have cool water. Wow. Yeah, I can paint your ceiling. Michelangelo scoffs to himself. Me, just before I'm about to paint a bunch of dudes with their peepees out, it was all a part of his plan. Safe to say he does a little bit of trolling. Probably one of the greatest trolls in history as well. The fact that the Pope exists in Cars 2 and rides within a Pope mobile not only proves the existence of Catholicism in the Cars universe, but also in 1981 there was an attempt on his to oof him and yeah that that occurred it also confirms the existence of a lot of things car crusades car mongolian invasions car just about anything everything that happened in our world probably happened in the cars universe as well and now i will literally never sleep until we finally get a cars for the revolutionary war movie let's play guess the country monopoly game ends in a samurai sword fight with a man said to be fighting for his life Er, you're probably wrong. It's Belgium. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be someplace different than Japan. Maybe like Florida or something. I could have guessed this country takes their Monopoly game so seriously. Actually, has anyone played a game of Monopoly where you didn't want to end it with a samurai sword fight? It's literally so frustrating and it takes 
hours to finish when your job is checking passports at a New Zealand airport and a huge wave of billionaires and famous rich people start showing up. So this is a meme referring to how most people believe New Zealand to be the best country to go to in case of a nuclear war. It's kind of on the edge of the map. Most people already leave it off the map to begin with. Once the nuclear warheads go flying, a lot of places would forget this place existed anyways. I think it's safe to say it's probably gonna be fine. That or hide in Antarctica. Like, who would think about nuking Antarctica? Thanos just doubling all the resources in the universe. Nah. How about just oofing half the population? Now that sounds like a better idea. I mean, it is easier to take away than to give, I guess. Plus, just oofing half the population helps to curb pollution. The masculine urge to fly to Alaska and work a seasonal fishing job and never get attached to anyone or anything. I'm convinced this is how most people in Alaska got to Alaska. Safe to say all 732,673 had the same exact origin story. Satanists after Satan gets his butt whooped by some guy with a fiddle. Looks like your daddy here took one pretty big L and to think it was by some guy from Georgia. WW3 will never happen. Stop worrying. Meanwhile, these countries, this is an interesting take. Uh, Iran, South Africa, and Saudi Arabia. We also have Belarus, uh, Russia and China. I get these three. I don't really get South Africa though. Maybe they're just lying low. Oh, and then finally there's Brazil, North Korea, and India. We we'll probably need Pakistan too. We'll be getting into it sometimes. Uh, where's the USA? Oh, okay, there they are. American geography be like, what state is it? And that is why they don't really teach geography in the US. It is just way, way too hard. This is obviously Wyoming though, since it's almost a perfect rectangle. Everyone knows Colorado is far from being a perfect rectangle. Map of the countries who claim to be democratic. Seems like by far most of the world claims to be democratic, including North Korea, except for a few. Are you democratic? The UN asks. Yes, we are, cries Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran. Meanwhile, no, responds Brunei, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and I, I don't actually know that last one. Isn't that supposed to be the Vatican City? The Vatican City clearly doesn't claim to be democratic. Anyways, I appreciate the honesty. Oh, that's a rare flag of Oman cameo. Nice argument. Unfortunately, I wrote a book in which I'm the Chad and you burn in the no no place. Please help me! No. And this was actually such a sick burn, in fact, that the lore became canon. Talk about the ultimate Wojak meme. He even got a video game made too. The time has come for the world to stop making fun of the French people. Meanwhile, all the countries of the UN snickering. <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry France, it doesn't seem to be really working. As soon as we're done with this laugh, we will, uh, we'll take your words more serious. French people going about their daily lives after another day of riots and protests. Uh, this isn't even a meme, this is literally real life. They are probably insanely used to it by now. What else is new? British people trying to think of edible products other than bread and potatoes. Wait, there's such thing as edible products besides bread and potatoes? That is news to me. What about cheese? Trash cans were invented in 1875, people in 2023. Um, it seems like we aren't actually using that invention very much. I guess we're not really a big fan. Why use a trash can when you can just throw it somewhere in nature? That actually made me depressed. I hope people aren't saying that. At least we're gonna rocket some of it to space eventually. Nobody beats Goku. Nobody. Goku has canically died multiple times. Garfield hasn't even bled. And you know this man knows his Garfield lore. I think he has a point here though. SpongeBob needs to replicate himself 30 million times to defeat Goku. Garfield only needs one. Americans when asked their opinion on 90% of European countries, WTF is this, Americans with England or France, Americans with Ireland for whatever reason. It is literally a second country to us. I, I'm assuming that's because everyone thinks their Irish heritage is way higher than it actually is. Myself included, I thought I was like 25% Irish. Turns out like I'm not really at all. Month, day, year instead of day, month, year. Literally the entire world cast it into the fire, destroy it. Meanwhile, Americans with their response. Yeah, thanks for that USA. Now I'm always confused about this since we're literally one of the only places that does this, like I've always said, year, month, day makes more sense than month, day, year. What if we just all collectively agree to stop using month, day, year? I'm just gonna start doing day, month, year. I don't care anymore. Me in the shower, if I could go back in time, my knowledge of technology will amaze everyone. Meanwhile, how a sewing machine works. Yeah, I don't know really how much they're gonna care. They might be a lot more advanced than we're thinking. You know that rogue waves were initially found out back in like 1826? Me, ships can't be parked 
marked parallel. Meanwhile, the ships. It's actually probably a lot easier to parallel park with ships. They kind of have the ability to go sideways a lot easier than cars. I mean, cars can do it too. It's just a little more difficult. But God said, if I eat it, I'll die. Source. Where's your source, bro? Give me a source. If no source, you're just clearly spreading misinformation online. Sick of this. I still get a kick out of the fact that somebody thought it was a great idea for John Wayne to be casted as Genghis Khan in The Conqueror. They legitimately thought this would be a good idea back in 1956. It's kind of one of those things where back in the day, people would just see a movie no matter what, depending on who it was. If you have John Wayne wanting to make a movie, you kind of just need to throw them in any movie. People are going to go see it. One of the strangest animes I've ever seen. Next, representing West Germany, whoever that guy is. Brockman, representing India. Uh, representing, uh, representing Chi China's hero, Ramen Man. But... What mind, mankind is noodles? China has 4,000 year history? Of course, the USA is literally just a guy in a cowboy hat. Robin Robin. Uh, what anime is this? Uh, this is funny because this is not the first old Japanese anime that has had something similar, some sort of similar depiction. Uh, okay. So Japanese anime was doing country humans way before humans. What episode of Dragon Ball Z is this? Okay, to be fair, it started in like the 70s and 80s. Just started watching YouTube. When does this guy show up again? Literally saw this guy in the first episode and then he never came back. Could they not cast him for a second or something? What happened? Crazy that the first YouTube video ever has now almost a quarter of a million views. And it's been out for 17 years. I remember when I watched this as a kid, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it was like the first YouTube video ever. I guarantee you I probably gave it a dislike. I just didn't get it. ChatGPT literally terrifying doctors because the newest version of ChatGPT passed the U.S. medical license exam with flying colors and diagnosed a 1 in 100,000 condition in seconds. Something tells me an apple a day is not going to keep chat GPT away. He actually might be here to stay. I didn't even mean for that to rhyme. 12 year olds in America versus 12 year olds in Europe. Okay, that's just literally me who found this picture of me. This is me though at the age of 18. I didn't look like this at 12. That's probably because they're allowed to drink at a much younger age. When you're 12 in the U.S., you're going to middle school. When you're 12 in Europe, you're buying your first house. <laughs> I'll never buy a house. University of Waterloo, this guy with his engineering undergraduate ID versus this very same guy four years later. It might not even be four years later. It could be one year later. What exactly did they do to my boy? What? And so is the life of an engineering student, I guess. This is why I just chose to do film and you know, drop out a couple times. That was fun. 13 year old girls in 2011 watching an anime about the Axe's powers anamorphized as cute twinks. This is definitely a moment where I'm sure a lot of people are saying, Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? And that's good. If that's what you're saying right now, thank you. Let's keep it like that. I haven't seen it yet, but people will not stop recommending me Hatalia. It's literally been like 10 years of people telling me to watch this anime. I don't know if I'm honestly ready for this just yet. And big thanks to my patrons. Oh, this is the real Drew. I was kidnapped and that's the Drew's imposter. Argentinian the slow, grandpa. depressing portable Chang and 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 Chang